King Herod Agrippa was the grandson of Herod the Great. In Acts chapter 12, we find the account of Herod executing James, who was the brother of the Apostle John. Acts 12.3 reads, And because he saw it pleased the Jews, that is Herod Agrippa, he proceeded further to take Peter also. King Herod Agrippa owned the character trait of vanity, which stems from the broader sin of pride. Herod wanted people to think that he looked good. He wanted to be popular with the people. And let's be honest, what leader does not want to be popular with his people? But Herod was willing to do wrong in order to receive the approval that he desired. We see this vanity evidenced even further in the chapter. After Peter had escaped from prison with the aid of the angel of God, Herod has the guards put to death. Now, this was not uncommon since according to the Justinian law code, a guard who allowed a prisoner to escape would suffer the same fate that the prisoner would have if he had stayed in prison. Herod was planning on putting Peter to death simply because it made him popular with the people. Herod was a vain man. But we see his vanity evidenced even further. After Peter has escaped, Herod has to deal with some matters of state. He is, for some reason, upset with the cities of Tyre and Sidon. So, on a set day, the Bible tells us that Herod rises from his throne in his royal apparel. According to the famed histor historian Josephus, Herod's garments were made of silver. Again, Herod's vanity is coming through. He is literally wearing a robe made of silver. He wants to dazzle. He wants the attention. He wants everyone to see him better than he really is. He cares so much about his appearance. Herod makes his speech, and all the people exclaim, That's not the voice of a man. That's the voice of a god. And Herod just stood there, drinking it all in. He would not give glory to God. He wanted it all for himself. Herod is executed for his crime of vanity by God himself. The Bible tells us that he was eaten of worms. He probably didn't care about how he looked while this was happening. Again, Josephus tells us that Herod endured terrible pain for five days before he died from these worms. Not the way you want to go down. Herod's vanity eventually killed him. He cared too much about his appearance and how others viewed him instead of how God viewed him. You and I don't wear robes of silver to dazzle everyone, but it is safe to say that we can be guilty of vanity as well. I'm not saying that we should walk around in camel skin like John the Baptist, but I do believe that modern day American Christianity cares way too much about the way that we appear to others. We come to church in our dresses and our skirts, our suit coats and ties, but if we do not come with the right attitude of worship and our love for our Creator, then dressing up amounts to nothing. Let's not ditch the nice clothing when we come to church because we do want to show reverence to God. But more importantly, let us be concerned about our heart, not our looks. Let us not share with Herod this character of vanity. I'm Jeff Thompson, and this has been a message in a minute.